Hey guys, it's Christy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a video on my NG Tube Safe Foods as well as my NG Tube Safe Drinks. I consume these products whenever I'm NG Tube feeding and it really just makes the whole NG Tube process or the liquid diet process a lot easier to cope with. There are certain people who NG Tube feed and they cannot consume anything other than water and what their NG Tube feed is or their liquid diet feed is but I have run these foods and these drinks past my doctor and my dietitian, and they have sort of approved them. And it has really helped me to be able to go to these foods and drinks and just feel like half normal with the whole thing. You know, if I'm craving, you know, something sweet, I can just go to one of my safe foods or drinks, or if I'm craving something savory, I can just sort of tuck in. It's just really nice to be able to you know, have a bit of normality around the process, still be able to have a choice of what I want to eat or drink. Um, and, you know, especially whenever it's a special occasion like Christmas time or New Year and everyone's eating and drinking and really indulging, it's quite nice to feel like there are a few options that I can have. And it really just helps to satisfy, you know, my mind more than anything. The NG Tube Feed does keep me sort of not full up but it make, makes me not hungry so I'm always in that state of in between I'm not hungry I'm not full but it's just nice to feel sort of self-indulgent and to feel like do you know what I actually want to have one of these foods or one of these drinks and it really really helps me to get through the process so today I thought I would just go through these foods and drinks and um, maybe they'll help out some of you guys who might be in a similar situation to myself obviously everyone's different People use NG tubes and a liquid diet for totally different reasons. I use mine because I have Crohn's disease. So basically whenever I'm using my tube, I am letting my bowel rest. Crohn's disease is an inflammatory bowel condition. So it means that I get ulcers and lesions in my bowel and really just having a very, very simple broken down liquid feed helps my bowel to rest and really focus on healing. So it's not like I have some kind of, you know, stomach disorder where I can't cope with a lot of fluid or food or anything like that. So I think if you have gastroparesis, this might not be helpful. It really sort of depends on your personal situation. But me with Crohn's and just using the NG tube and the liquid diet for bowel rest, I am able to consume these products and it's really, really helped me out. It's taken me a while to sort of find all these products, so hopefully this will be a sort of shortcut for you guys um, to sort of go out and just buy all these if you, if you are in the same situation as myself. But yes, I recommend if you're going to start eating any of these foods or drinking any of these drinks that you consult with your doctor or your dietitian just to make sure that they're okay with it. But let's just jump right into it and get started on the first product. I just wanted to say that I've been at work all day and I've been wearing this makeup. So sorry if my makeup looks a bit ratchet. But the first thing that has really helped me when I'm NG tube feeding or I'm on a liquid diet is Ribena. I have absolutely loved this. It has been my savior. I drink it cold or warm. And basically the, this, whenever you put water into it, is a very, very clear fluid. It's literally just dilute blackcurrant juice. It doesn't have any bits in it. That is the most important thing whenever you're NG tube feeding, is not to eat or drink anything that has bits in it because that basically contains fiber. And the thing about having a liquid diet is that it, ha it is very, very low fiber. So you don't want to go and add extra fiber whenever you really don't want to. So this is just literally blackcurrant dilute. It is really just sugar and flavorings. So it's pretty much the same as what is in my NG tube feed anyway. So I, well, minus the vitamins and minerals, although there's vitamin C in this, so an extra wee boost. But whenever I'm feeling like, oh, do you know, I just love to have a nice hot cup of something. I'll put this into a mug and just pour a bit of hot water into it. And it's absolutely delicious. It's like a nicer version of Lem Sip. So I absolutely love this. I basically can drink as much of this as I want. There are some of these foods that would be more irritating to me if I consume them in large amounts because they are quite flavorful. But this I can drink as much of as I want. And it's really, really helped me through my NG tube feeding. In terms of other sort of clear drinks that you can have, there's like green teas, all different sorts of teas, as long as there's no milk in them. It sort of helps to feel like if I'm out and about and I really fancy getting something from Starbucks, I can still go in and get a wee green tea or a black tea, no milk. 
and sort of feel a bit normal about it. It really depends on if you're sensitive to caffeine. I am not overly, um, if I have like a really strong coffee, it kind of sends me a bit woo. But um, I'm okay with like teas and things. So green tea, anything that's a clear fluid is fine for me. The next thing is clear sweets. This is an example of the sweets that I would eat whenever I'm tube feeding. These are the Fox's Glacier Mints. They also have a fruit version of this, which is great. And I'll just show you what to look out for whenever you're looking for specific sweets to eat. So I'll just open this up. See the way this is clear? That means that there's like no fiber in it. It's literally just sugar and whatever is sort of holding it together. So, I mean, for me, it's been absolutely fine. It hasn't caused me any irritation whatsoever. And the fruit version of this is quite similar. It's, you can see through it, it's, um, translucent almost so that shows me that there's no sort of fiber or like fruit bits in it so i absolutely love these they taste really really nice as well so if i'm sort of out and about and i'm just like oh i need to pick me up i need a bit of sugar i'll just pop one of these in my mouth and yeah they've been really really good any sort of clear sweets will do just look about in your local area and see what's available you'll literally be looking for something with very simple ingredients like you know, sugar and flavorings, and that's pretty much it. And as long as it's clear, it's fine. Another option is lollipops. I absolutely love these lollipops that you can get from Poundland. They're so cheap and they're so hard to get though. And I haven't been able to find them recently. And so I've been sticking with my Fox's Glacier sort of sweets, but the lollipops from Poundland are the same. They're basically translucent um, lollipops. So I'm able to see through them See that there's no bits in them or anything and it's literally again just sugar and flavorings and i'm going to show you an example of what you should not be looking for in a lollipop so these are the chubba chubs chubba chubs chubba chips <laughs> and you can see here that it's quite cloudy you you can't see through it it's not translucent whatsoever it's very opaque and that would be something that i would steer away from i really would want to be able to see light through it and say, right, okay, it's literally just sugar and flavorings. So that is one that I would stay away from. If I can find an example of a lollipop or the ones I get from Poundland, I will put them up on screen or I will link them down below. Um, it's just, they're really hard to find because they must sell out really quickly because they are actually really tasty. And that is that for the lollipops. The next thing I wanted to move on to was iced products. Things like sorbets can be really, really nice, especially if you live somewhere that's quite hot. Um, any kind of sorbet that has sort of fruit juice on it, so a raspberry sorbet, for example, but absolutely no fruit bits in it should be fine. And also these lollipops here would be an example. So they are literally just made from like water, sugar, glucose syrup, so sugar, um, some kinds of acids, barley extract, flavoring, and a stabilizer. So there's no fruit bits in this whatsoever. You'll see whenever I hold this up to the light, I can sort of see through it. Um, and that means it's literally just made from fruit juice. And that means that it's safe for me. And I generally like, I would go to an ice lolly every once in a while because I live in a cold country. I live in Belfast, which is pretty much freezing all year round. I'm not very drawn to cold products, but I like to have these in the freezer just in case. They're really, really nice. So these are from just Tesco, but I'm sure you can find these wherever you go. Just don't get anything that has milk in it or is very, very opaque and you can't see through it. So that will show you that there's products in there that might sort of interfere with your healing process. So you just wanna steer away from those. Another option, if you cannot find any lollipops like that in your local stores, or you don't want to be adding too many products to the mix because your stomach is very sensitive or something like that, is literally just to take your clear drink. So in my case, it would be Ribena and just freeze that, get one of the little molds and um, put this in the molds and freeze that. And then it's just a really good lollipop. You could do it with, you know, orange squash, pineapple squash, anything that is just a clear dilute that has no bits in will be absolutely fine. And the next thing is one of my absolute saviors as well. I eat so much of this, it is ridiculous, is jelly. Jelly is literally just, well, you have to check, but this one is literally just clear juice and gelatin and sugar. So this is Hartley's jelly. But the one thing about the actual little cartons here, cause I used to buy these cause they were just so handy and I could take them everywhere with me 
was that they actually added sweetener to this. It used to be just sugar in this, but they decided to make it low calorie and add sweetener to it. And sweetener is something that does irritate my Crohn's disease. So I actually had to like switch from this to their little bricks. So this is just like the bricks of jelly. And then you just add water, stir it up and then let it set. And then I put this into little like containers and eat this because this doesn't have sweetener in it. And I was just so annoyed whenever they added sweetener to this because it was like, I literally ate like so many of these every day. And jelly is something that's just not very irritating to my bowel. It's a very safe food for me. Um, you could look in your local area and see if you do have little individual cartons like this. Um, maybe you, sweetener doesn't bother you, so you could go with this one here, but um, there'll be lots of different variations everywhere that people are, so just have a look in your local stores and see what's available. Everything I've shown you so far has been sweet, and sometimes it can be, you know, you've had enough of eating sweet stuff. The NG tube feed is actually quite sweet, especially if you're actually drinking your drinks. Um, and you're doing a liquid diet sort of orally, um, it can be like, oh God, I just wish I could have something really savory and you know, oh, I just miss savory food and sort of salty food. And this is why I started to really, really look around and see what was out there. And I actually brought this product to my dietitian. I was like, you know, I really, really like this. I've tasted it a few times just to see if I would like it first of all. And I really want to know if I can continue to consume this. She said it was fine and it is bovril. It sounds disgusting, but literally, like when you try it, it's actually so nice. If you ever have a chicken and mushroom pot noodle, and it has, it's sort of, so basically it's like chickeny noodles. If you drink the actual juice, it tastes just like this. So basically this is chicken and yeast extract, and you can make it into a warm drink. And it literally tastes like noodle soup or something. It's so good. And basically what I do is I get a fork, and I take a big dollop of this, so I'd say about that much, and I put it into a glass or a cup, and I add hot water to it, and I stir it, and then let everything settle to the bottom, because there's herbs in this, and I do not want to drink the herbs. I'd only want to drink the actual clear fluid that ends up at the top. There's literally just a little tiny layer of herbs just at the bottom there. Um, and I leave it to settle. Sometimes there'll be a few herbs just at the top, but I just generally like poke them down with the fork and then they'll drop to the bottom. And then I sip away, but I don't sip the bottom of it. So I make sure I don't sip the herbs. I'm literally just getting a very nice clear sort of chicken broth. You could literally just make chicken broth from scratch. I'm just really lazy and I want something that I can have quickly whenever I have a craving for something salty and savory. And this is just so delicious. The only thing is that this is quite flavorful, so I could only really have, I'd say three or four of these a day. I couldn't sit and drink it like all day because just with my Crohn's, it, it, it is very, very sensitive to flavor. I tend to have to eat quite bland whenever I am eating, but I absolutely love this. Another option is the beef version. So this is the beef version here, and it is literally like just, a beef stock you know the other one's a chicken stock and this is a beef stock so you can you know go make your own like cook up a whole chicken and all the veg and then strain off the the water and the flavor and then drink that you can buy like pouches of ready-made broth in the stores that's a good option but this is just a really quick quick option it is amazing whenever you haven't had anything savory for a really long time and it just feels like eating like chicken noodles oh it's so friggin nice so another another great great option so the last option is something that i don't really go for i just wanted to throw it out there and the, and it is chewing gum i don't eat chewing gum myself because i tend to find it fills me full of air and it makes me quite uncomfortable it fills my stomach and bile full of air and i'm just like oh but if you're really, really, you know, at your wit's end, you need something right now, you're sort of out and you're like, oh, you know, none of these other options are available and I just really need something to get rid of my oral craving. You could eat some chewing gum. I also have a sensitivity to sweetener. So a lot of chewing gums are like sugar-free, you know, sweetener, da, da, da. So I steer clear of sweetener and chewing gum. There are ones in the health food stores that are a bit better. So if you're really, really stuck, you could sort of go to chewing gum if that would be helpful. And that is pretty much it. I hope there was a good array of products here. If, if you are able to 
you know, use these based on your condition and your, you know, advice from your dietitian and your doctor. It really, really does depend on you. It's literally just my specific situation. I'm able to eat these. They have been an absolute lifesaver. They've helped me to get through the really tough times where I'm just like, my life sucks and I really, really hate empty tube feeding or, you know, doing a liquid diet. It absolutely sucks ass especially like over Christmas and things, it's so hard. And these have just helped make my life that little bit easier. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and hit the little notification bell to receive a notification every time I upload. Leave a comment down below with any questions you have. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.